my cousins real quick. Hello, everyone. This is going to be a short video about my Samsung uh, VCR that has ASP on screen program. I'm pretty sure this is a crappy 2 eyed VCR from probably the 2000s, and I'm just going to pull a little bit of this Johnny Carson collection. Uh, the tape is this one. Uh, Johnny Carson's favorite moments from the Tonight Show. And this is 70s, 80s, the Master of Laughs. And now it will play. And this is the on screen fast forwarding. That was. That, uh, this could fast forward in two, two speeds. That speed where you just press it, and it'll just keep going until you press it again. And then there's a faster speed if you hold it down, and then once you let go of it. Oh god. Sorry about that. The camera must have fell. And this is with just normal fast forward rewinding. And that's just normal fast forwarding. And shortly here I'll play you an SOP tape. Okay. Oh, let me show you that again, guys. Sorry about that. The camera. How strange is it, well? Let's rewind it. And that's rewinding, I forgot to mention, while playing. I'm going to show you an SLP tape. I'm not sure if I have it in my room, so I'm going to go look. Right. And I'm going to show you. And I'm going to show you it ejecting. Just for people that are there interested. And I also have a digital converter box hooked up to this. It is a Core Innovations DT converter box. But I currently don't have the antenna plugged into it, so I guess I'll make that in a separate video. And I'm going to see if I have that SLP VHS anywhere. I guess I do not. Let me pause. Alright guys, I got it. And by the way, I didn't mean by SLP, I meant LP. I'm sorry about that. But just Twister Fury on the Plains. Which I thought when I got it was the movie Twister, but it's a documentary about tornadoes. It's an hour documentary. I don't know why they record it on EP, though. I mean LP. It's crap, because it's LP. Oh, that's the beginning of the tape. My TV doesn't like static, so it always blinks out static for some reason. It just has no signal. Let's see if we can fast forward this a little bit. Bit, and that's probably funny. We can do on screen rewinding, but yeah, that's how LP plays on this. That's how LP plays. Here's rewinding an LP. I do not think I have an SLP tape in my collection. I only had two LP tapes this one, and then a homemade recording. I'm gonna rewind some more.
That's it though. No, it's on screen for sport. Alright, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Uh was that? The heck? Listen to that voice. Yeah, the voice is so muffled because LP is kind of a crap recording spell. I know it's LP because it says right here, it can focus LP. Oh yeah, these are the M1s to tell if it's fat, playing or fast forwarding or on screen fast forwarding. That's the little M1. And then the on screen rewinding, that's what it looks like. Then stop. Standard fast forward. It's standard rewind. And this is what looks like a HX. The tape counter, as you probably saw earlier, sets the zero on you. Here's the tape, and the tape indicator is not on because the tape's out. Let's put it back in there. You can watch it if this will focus. You can watch it. And it's set the VCR mode. There's, that's the tape right there. I'm going to fast forward it so you can see. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's rewind it. But, so yeah, this is, let's play another VHS tape, why the heck not? So hard doing this with one hand. Uh, I'm good at it. My God. Good God. By the way, I want to show you a cool DVD. I'm kind of like a PBS fanatic, and I have this. It's not related, but I have this Curious George DVD. And look, it's from 2012, the year before. They stopped having this logo, the dot PBS Kids logo. But yeah, that's something pretty cool to show you. And by the way, that radio in the background, that's a Studebaker um, little radio that's supposed to look like a transistor, just for AM, FM radio with an aux, and that's the wrong set. And I will do a review of that later. Eventually, I'll do a review of all my... Electronic stuff. But right, let's put another of this Johnny Carson collection in. This is the later one, 1980s through 1990s, the King of White Knight. Oh, uh, let me do this. Uh, take out the VHS again because you didn't see it on camera, and I do not want it. There. There we go. And. Nothing was fast forward. No, wait, just let it play, you know what? Just let it play, to be honest. Let it play, to be honest. Uh, there's the FBI warning. The FBI will hunt you down if you record too much of this. It's kind of hard. Uh, that's not quite the place I wanted to. Be. I wanted to do. The... There you go. 
Bruh, holy. I just wanna, don't want to play too much of that because you know my if you saw my last oh god that's kind of creepy if you saw my last video of that old me TV of that review of my Sony boombox well I'm going to put this tape next but um that got copyright claimed I'm trying not to play as much of this as possible trying to do this review fairly quick but it's taking up already 11 minutes for some reason and at this point all i'm doing is just playing vhs tapes this is kind of a home vhs tape and it is rewound at the beginning I'll just stick this in here from 2001 this was and the person in this will re remain anonymous I want this person in this to remain a, a anonymous. I just fast forward a moment. But yeah, this isn't copyright, so yeah, this is a home. It's, yeah, this person will remain anonymous. I'm not going to reveal their identity. By the way, this is what it sounds like when you turn it off with the tape inside of it. Then I'll just shut off. And it still has a tape indicator in the clock. This is what it looks like when you turn it on and the sounds when you turn it. Oh, no, wait, I'm going to here. This is what happens when you turn it on with the tape inside. And I just uh, stopped screwing. Why well, show you that again with uh, this time looking at the TV? Right, this is off with a tape inside. No, this is on with a tape inside. I think that's the mechanism getting ready, uh, turning off and then turn back. And then that's yeah, the tape threading. That's the tape threading and unthreading. That's the tape threading. And stop or screw the tape. And that sound is the motor fast forwarding the spindles of tape, making the tape fast forwarding through the milk. And that's it. Uh, that's where it was. Um, Threading the tape. I'm gonna actually rewind this all the way before I eject it. There you go. Mm. Well, let's watch it eject. By the way, when you eject, it doesn't say eject. Some VCRs say eject, but uh, this one doesn't eject like that. This one, uh, the tape counter. If you were in the middle of a tape and stopped it, the tape counter would just go to zero and eject it. It doesn't say eject on the screen like some VCRs do. It just says stop. But, yeah, that was my review. Kind of overstretched, but this, uh, oh yeah, one more thing. This is what happens when you turn it off with no tape inside. Oh, let me show you that again. I'm going to show you down here, though. It's off. It's turning it back on. And then it appears up here. Right now. Here it is, turning off without a tape.
from the TV. Here it is turning on um, with no tape on the TV. But yeah, that was my video. The next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you this digital converter box hooked up to this. Oh yeah, since this is an analog tuner, everything's blued out. There's no more analog, and yeah. So, bye guys.